guys, I wanted to make a quick video with tips on how to break in your Doc Martens. I know I've already made an Instagram reel about this, but I just wanted to make this video to go a little bit more in depth and show better examples of how to break in Docs. I'm going to be using Oxfords, boots, and sandals to show you how to break in various areas depending on what's hurting you. This includes things like your heel, ankle, top of the shoes, toes, and anything else that might be giving you trouble. So yeah, I hope this video helps you, and if you have any other questions, feel free to comment below. So first, I'm going to show you how to break in Oxfords. This is the Marc Jacobs Croc Skin Oxfords, but the tips I'll give you will work for any pair of Oxfords. Basically, my problem with these was right here dug into my heel, and it was super uncomfortable to walk in. So what I did about that was I added this little padding, and it just helps cushion my heel a little bit and prevents it from digging into my heel. I'll link the pads I used below, but you could also use any other type of padding or band-aids or anything like that. Another thing that helps with that is wearing long socks with your Oxfords because the sock is just an extra layer between your shoe and your foot. So if you have one that's longer, it's less likely to fall down and give you blisters. Next, I'm going to show you how to break in boots. These are the Sinclair platforms, but again, these methods will work for any boots. So my issue with these was the top here was digging into my shin and it was really uncomfortable to wear them for long periods of time. So my solution to this is wearing two pairs of socks. Usually as you walk in these boots, the leather will move the sock and also create friction and therefore blisters on your ankle. But if you have two pairs, then one will stay to your skin and the other will stay on the boot. So that way they kind of like counteract each other and prevent you from getting too many blisters. You can also use the same pads I showed in the Oxfords to prevent that from happening as well. It also helps to use thicker socks as those provide more of a cushion to prevent blisters. Next, we're going to be breaking in some sandals. The main issue with these is the buckles and the leather straps are a little bit tight at first and may cause blisters on your feet. To solve this, I would just wear some socks with them. And I know a lot of people are against the whole idea of socks and sandals, but trust me, if you just do this and even if you just wear them inside the house, it'll break them in so much faster and make them so much more comfortable. I also have a few other tips for breaking in Doc Martens. The first of which being to start off slow with them. Don't just get a brand new pair of Docs, throw on two pairs of socks, and just head off for a five mile walk. You're going to be limping home. You'll want to start off by wearing them just around the house a little bit, and once you feel them starting to get more comfortable and shaped to your foot, then you'll be able to wear them for longer periods outside the house, until eventually you'll work your way up being able to wear them all day. There's also various other interesting ways of breaking in your docks that people do, such as showering in them, putting them in the freezer, using a hairdryer. I honestly would not recommend that because that can definitely damage the leather on your docks. But if that's worked for you in the past and nothing's happened, then that's great, but I just wouldn't personally recommend it. I hope this video helped you break in your docks, and if you have any other questions, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching.